am Amma Mazama. I'm an associate professor of African American Studies, or Africology, we should say, at uh, Temple University. I've been uh, teaching African American Studies for 25, 26 years now. And my latest interest has been in the phenomenon of uh, homeschooling among black people in the United States. I have um, a personal interest as well as an academic one in the topic because um, I homeschool my children myself. I've homeschooled my children for 13, almost 14 years now. And so I was interested in what the scholarship said about why African-American people do not send their children to school. Um, we know of, again, the vested interest that African Americans have had in securing access to public education for their children. Um, we remember, in particular, 1954 legal battle led by the NWCP and Thurgood Marshall on behalf of black people. And we know that um, when it happened, it was seen as a great victory for, for us, that finally we would be able to um, enjoy the social mobility that is associated with formal education. And hopefully we would be able to get a, have a better life for ourselves, for our children and the generations to come. We also know that the 1954 uh, civil <coughs> right battle was also the beginning of the um, civil rights movement and desegregation and end of legal discrimination against black people. So we find ourselves in 2016 with a very intriguing phenomenon again, which is that black people now turn their back, uh, turn away from schools and decide they're going to keep their children home. So the question, of course, is why? And when you read the scholarship on the topic, it always says that we're doing it pretty much for the same reasons that white people do it, primarily for religious reasons or maybe safety reasons. And nothing really captures the very unique situation in which African-American people have found themselves in this country. And so my research was about exploring this, especially because as a black person myself, I know very well why I'm doing it. And I found after going around the country and asking 74 African-American homeschooling families, why are you doing this? I found that we shared a common narrative and which is basically that we're trying to protect black children from the ill effects of racism as it manifests itself in schools, whether it is the curriculum that makes us irrelevant, invisible, or misrepresents us, that makes us really know nothing about ourselves as African people, that make us even, um, makes us even hate ourselves as African people and despise Africa because of the way Africa is presented to us in the classroom or not presented to us in the classroom. And I found that many African-American parents who keep their children home said, and that was very central, that for them to be truly educated, you must know about yourself. It doesn't matter what you know about other people, all the facts that you might have memorized that made you sound smart, but if you don't know anything about your land of ancestry, if you don't know anything about your history, then you are not educated. And they had, therefore, a major objection to what is going on in the classrooms of America, uh, which basically disenfranchise black people and make black history start in 1619 um, and reduce a very long history. In fact, the longest history that exists in the world, which is African history, reduces it to basically a footnote in white people's history. And so this is very, you know, um, interesting because um, the common um, <clears throat> discourse out there is that black people do not care about academic success that we don't show up for parent-teacher conferences, that the children do not apply themselves. Yet, when you talk to black people who homeschool, and again, homeschooling uh, requires major sacrifices in many ways, financially, time-wise, and so on and so forth. And you see that, in fact, there's a tremendous care about what happens to black children. And this is why black parents, you know, keep children home in greater and greater numbers.